Hello, everyone, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. My name is Catherine, and today we've got a lesson for you that's about an unusual topic, something we've never talked about here on English Pod. That's right. As you know, in English Pod, we like to talk about all sorts of topics, especially topics that are real life topics. So, probably a lot of things that you won't find in your normal English notebooks or English learning books. That's right. So, we want to tell you in advance today's lesson is about drugs. So, if you're a younger user or you have Have, uh, if you have kids, maybe they shouldn't listen to today's lesson.、Um, but you're going to learn a lot of the names for drugs and also how to turn down an offer of drugs. So let's check out today's dialogue and we'll be back in a moment to talk about the things that you've heard. Hey man, you want to buy some weed? Some what? Weed. You know, pot, ganja, Mary Jane, some. Chronic? Oh, uh, no thanks. I also have blow if you prefer to do a few lines. No, I'm okay, really. Come on, man. I even got dope and acid. Try some. Do you really have all of these drugs? Where do you get them from? I got my connections. Just tell me what you want, and I'll even give you an ounce for free. Hmm, sounds good. Let's see. I want. Yeah? I want you to put your hands behind your head. You are under arrest. Dope!、Oh. All right, we're back. So, as Catherine mentioned, obviously, everywhere in the world, maybe most likely you've been offered drugs. So, we're not only going to talk about drugs, but we're also going to give you some vocab in English how to reject or turn down the offer of drugs.、Uh, and now, what we're going to take a look at, let's start in language takeaway with some of the names of these drugs in English. Language takeaway. Okay, so we're in language takeaway here, and I want to warn you some of these words are slang. That means they're not words from like a dictionary. These are words people use when they're talking to each other in daily life or words that you hear on the street. That's right. You may even hear them a lot in movies as yes, well. Yes, movies and TV. So this first one, weed, is something. There's, there's even a TV show called Weeds. <laughs> That's right, that talks about this topic. So weed is the street name or the m- most common name. For the drug marijuana. That's right. Marijuana is the drug name, but there are many, many, many other names in English that you will hear. So, weed is one of them.、Mm-hmm. A weed is a kind of thing that grows, like grass or a flower,、mm-hmm. that you cut because you don't want it. It's bad, it smells bad. That's right.、Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. So, the, the colloquial name for marijuana is weed. And obviously, the, the person that's being offered these drugs doesn't understand what that means. So, he goes on and he gives a couple of different other strategies. Names for the same drug. So the first one, so the next one is pot. That's right. So he says pot or ganja or Mary Jane or even chronic. So all of these are synonyms.、They're, they mean exactly the same thing. They all mean marijuana. Okay, but then after that, the drug dealer offers other kinds of drugs. He says blow.、Mm-hmm. So now we may know the verb to blow, right? That's right, to blow air. But in this case, it's a noun. Okay,、We、so are, he says, I have blow.、Mm-hmm, that's right. So he's offering this drug called blow. And what is blow? Blow is the street name for cocaine. So there's a very famous movie called Blow, and it was about selling cocaine. Now,、um, so after he talks about having blow, he also says,、um, if you want to do a few lines. And so this is what you'll commonly hear people saying how they do this drug.、And、that's right. So, for example, we, you may know that many drugs t h e y r e consumed in different ways. For example, weed, people smoke it, right? Uh, in this case, when we're talking about cocaine or blow, then that's why he refers to do a few lines. All right, because people breathe it in through、breathe、their nose.、Mm-hmm. That's right. So that's the colloquial way of saying of how、uh, you say that, how you consume this drug. Okay, so moving along, there's two more drugs that got mentioned in today's dialogue they're dope and acid. Now, dope can mean two different things. Sometimes it means marijuana,、mm-hmm. like some of those other words we heard earlier, but sometimes it also means a very, very serious drug called crack. Crack cocaine. Okay,、mm-hmm. and that's something that people breathe in, and it's very, very addictive. Yeah, that's right. And also, the other word that we have there, or the other drug, acid, you may know the word acid is a, is a very harmful substance.、Uh, like, for example, batteries, they have a certain type of acid that, for example, will melt. 
metal, or if it gets on your skin, it will burn you. That's right. But acid, when it's a drug, means LSD, and that is a drug that people take uh, that makes them see things. So it's called a hallucinogenic. It makes you see crazy things, and it was very, very popular in the 1970s. That's right. Um, so that's acid or LSD. Very good. So we've taken a look at a lot of vocab here, specifically all the drugs. Why don't we go back to our dialogue? Let's take another listen, and we'll be back to talk a little bit more. Hey, man, you want to buy some weed? Some what? Weed. You know, pot, ganja, Mary Jane, some chronic. Oh, uh, no, thanks. I also have blow if you prefer to do a few lines. No, I'm okay, really. Come on, man. I even got dope and acid. Try some. Do you really have all of these drugs? Where do you get them from? I got my connections. Just tell me what you want, and I'll even give you an ounce for free. Hmm, sounds good. Let's see. I want... Yeah? I want you to put your hands behind your head. You are under arrest. Dope! Okay, so now in Fluency Builder, we've got a couple of phrases for you uh, about the other side of things, how to say no to drugs and what you might hear from a police officer like, like we hear in today's dialogue. That's right. So let's take a look at these phrases in Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. So the first one we hear is no thanks. So the guy says, um, no thanks. He doesn't want the drugs. That's right. So... Obviously, you're being offered something that you don't like. Let's take into consideration drugs, or maybe somebody wants to offer you a drink, or somebody wants to take you on a date. You can say, mm, no thanks. No thanks. So, hey, Marco, uh, you want a drink? I'm going to go right now. It's, it's only like 2 o'clock, but, you know, we could go for a mm, drink. No thanks. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> right? And now we also have another phrase. If a person insists, the person is continually insisting, like, oh, come on, come on. Come on, Marco. Let's go for a drink. I really want a drink. Come with me. Right. And I and you can say, no, I'm okay, really. So it may sound confusing, I am okay, because that would mean you're in good health. I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. But I am in this case, when you say to someone, no, I'm okay, you're saying, no, I'm fine the way I am. I don't, I, I don't really need to do anything. I don't need it. So right. I'm okay means I don't need it. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is a great way to, to, to really say, listen, no, I don't want it. Okay. So those are the two ways that we have in, in which you can say no. We're going to give you a couple of more towards the end of the lesson. But let's take a look very quickly at our next phrase. When the police officer said, you are under arrest. All right. So the man didn't know. The person didn't know this was a police officer. And finally, in the end, he says, you are under arrest. That's right. Okay, so this is something you hear in the movies when they put the uh, handcuffs. handcuffs on somebody. Mm -hmm. um, the, the preposition is under. It's strange, but you just have to remember this as a phrase. You are under arrest. I am arresting you. That means you are going to the police station with me. You broke the law. Right. Or you can say, oh, uh, Tim is under arrest. He's at the police station right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we've taken a look at a couple of phrases and a couple of different things. Why don't we take another short break? Let's listen to our dialogue and we'll be back in a bit. Hey, man, you want to buy some weed? Some what? Weed. You know, pot, ganja, Mary Jane, some chronic. Oh, uh, no, thanks. I also have blow if you prefer to do a few lines. No, I'm okay, really. Come on, man. I even got dope and acid. Try some. Do you really have all of these drugs? Where do you get them from? I got my connections. Just tell me what you want, and I'll even give you an ounce for free. Hmm, sounds good. Let's see. I want... Yeah? I want you to put your hands behind your head. You are under arrest. Dope! Oh. 
All right, so obviously a very serious topic, but at the same time, I think very necessary because it may happen or you may hear it in a movie, and it's part of the English language. Now, obviously, we are not advocating or saying that drugs are good or anything. Uh, we are saying we are giving you the tools so you know how to recognize when somebody is offering you a drug and the way that you can say no. That's right. So remember that these are things that you might hear when you're in a country like America or England or Australia. We hope that you don't have to worry about this, mm. but if If you do hear it, or you hear it in a movie, you will understand it. But Marco, we had some other ways to say no to drugs, right? To say no to something, to refuse. Mm -hmm. So uh, we heard no thanks and I'm okay. But what are some other ways to say no? Well, for example, if the person also persists or insists, you can say, no, I'm good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good. good. Yeah, so it, it doesn't really make sense because you're saying, I, I, I'm good. What does that exactly mean? So like Marco, you want a cigarette? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, so that's a way of saying no thanks. No, no. thanks, I'm okay. Also, I'm cool. Mm -hmm. Not saying like, I'm really cool. Right. It's like saying, no, I'm good, I'm cool, thanks. That's right, I'm cool, um, thank no, you. No thank you. No mm -hmm. thank you. Or as well, you can also just say no thank you. I think the most clear is, no, I don't smoke, or no, I I don't do drugs. Mm, yes, exactly. That's the that's the verb that we use when referring to drugs. You do drugs. You don't do drugs. So he does drugs or don't do drugs. You often hear this phrase. So mm -hmm. you can say, listen, no, no, thank you. I'm cool. I don't do drugs. That's right. So um, as we said, this is uh, all the kind of street slang or colloquial, very common ways of referring to drugs. In, uh, in English. So you can keep an eye out for that. If you hear that in movies, now you know more or less what they're referring to. And also, of course, if you have any questions, any comments, or any suggestions, we are always available on our website, EnglishPod.com. We hope to see you guys there, and until next time. Bye. Bye.